The phase 2 prep continues on my season of discovery rogue as we today venture back into BFD in hopes of getting all the biz items so we are fully prepared for the next phase. Oh my lord dude, this is like, it, it, it's like I lock in every single time and it just gets worse. I'm just gonna clean up these bags real f oh actually to use the gruel barb. Oh yeah we got that dagger last time, we got the meteor shard, we got this, we can swap around now, this is really good. Okay I need to buy a bunch of mats, so we're gonna start off by getting some stuff done here and then we can- What? They're a gold? Rough stones are a gold for a stack? Okay, copper bars are not that bad. This is fine. This is like a silver per copper bar. There's six silver each? Okay, I'm gonna buy just copper. Four silver each for tin? Holy crap, man. That's insane. Oh, my bags are just getting filled up again, aren't they, man? What is this? I'm 119 now. I want to get to 120, right? Oh, my God. I should have gotten some silver stuff. I just need a little bit more levels. I'm just thinking for a second here. What are the biz grenades called? Heavy dynamite. That's four gold. What? Okay, I'll buy one stack just so I can use them for bosses. That's four cent. Four gold. How, do, how do you make heavy dynamite? Heavy dynamite. Oh my god. Holy muck. Okay, I'll just buy one stack of these bad boys. So we can uh, we can have some dynamite. Yeah, it's because people need to mine oh, iron, right? And iron is really, really, really expensive. Okay, I think we're good though. We got the iron dynamite. We got engineering to 125. So now we can use the iron dynamite as well. And we also have a dagger. We got a dagger last time as well. So this should be good, guys. Yeah, okay. We don't have the world buffs, guys. But we do have a lot more gear. And... This should be hopefully be pretty good. I am gonna be using the dagger build for the first boss. So we're gonna be going Slaughter from the Shadows, in Venom, and I guess Saber Slash for that one. Actually, I'm gonna go Shadow Strike for the first boss because then we can teleport up if we get the uh, the thing image. Yeah, okay, this should be good. Uh, this means that we're not gonna be that powerful though for these. Maybe we should just respec right before the boss, but uh, I haven't really played too much rogue yet, man. I'm quite new to the whole rogue uh, experience so far in SOD. So I'm, I'm trying to get used to it here, but we can do this, guys. Okay, we'll, we'll do this, guys, okay? All leather gear is uh, obviously not reserved, but if anyone wants to give it to Guzvaldo, he will not say no. That's how I'll say this, okay, guys? Dude, I'm, I'm excited now for phase two, though. Like, I, I, I know I always bring this up, but I, I definitely... Uh, I'm excited now. I don't think I'll make more characters than what I have right now, guys. I'm gonna have my warrior as my first character to level, to level 40, and I'm gonna have my shaman and my rogue. I think those three characters are quite fine. And then outside that stuff, we can always do other variety games and everything like that. Wait, don't I want to open with a shadow strike then on the boss? Do we got buffs, guys? Everybody's ready? Okay. Three, two. Okay, I don't really know what the... I think it's like this. And we just kind of backstab and send it now. Okay, and then jump down, obviously, if you need to jump down. Oh, shit, I need... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have... Eviscerate. Okay. Hey, the damage is not bad, actually. I like, compared to the gear, no world buffs and everything like that. Dude, I'm... Not too shabby. I mean, could be better, but... The burst would be insane, I think. Like, that backstab, 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 and blasted is, is not bad. Okay, we got the quest done, which is nice. No rogue gear here. But obviously, you guys need on when you, what you need for your main spec. And if not, then just greet or pass. Okay, guys? So now we're gonna go back to Invenom. And Invenom should be really, really, really good for next boss. So I just wanna build up my Invenoms, right? And I don't really want to use any slice and dice currently. Getting a lot of Invenom stacks. Got four stacks now. Maybe we can get one more stack. Oh, fuck. I'm getting bounced, man. Oh my god, I'm getting bounced. Holy crap, bounty boy. Jesus. I lost all my uh, deadly poison stacks because of that bounce. And now I can't invent him. Oh my god, this is so sad. It's a sad day to be a Guzvaldo. Yeah, I got bounced all over the place, man. Like goddamn ping pong. I guess we should rupture them. If, if we have that many combo points and nothing to dump them on... We should just use a, a rupture. 1100 in Venom. I mean, shit, dude. That ain't bad at all. Oh, yeah. I, I can vanish the explosion, right? I mean, even with that, that's not bad at all. Ooh, chip by the circus. I mean, the thing is, this is better than my... It's 55 top end damage. Meteor Shard is... Oh, yeah. We need that for backstab, right? Yeah, for, for backstab, that's biz. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you want to go mutilate and stuff like that. Let's take that. Biz for dagger build. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess mutilate is not worth right now, but... That's way better than my Meteor Shard, for sure. We'll take it. Yeah, the Telwar would be the ultimate weapon to get. Flower Arena is ready to go in, man. Okay. Send it. We'll slice and dice. I don't want to dump my... Um... Can you move? I don't want to dump my Tissle T quite yet. Normally for, for burst, I would just Tissle T instantly. But I want to wait for my poison procs to build up, right? And then we can dump the Tissle T now. Because then we can do like a double in Venom, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, Rogue can do some pretty hefty damage, guys, actually. I mean, almost 200 DPS per second? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Ej, er, er du seriøs, mand? Det der skulle da en ulækker lille svær, der lige droppede her, mand. You're joking. What a run. If I get it, I mean, I don't know if anyone needs it. That's me, boys. Oh, I'm sorry, Flower Arena. It is what it is. Goes to Guzvaldo, baby. Look at my damage, guys. Look at this. Look at it. 135 top end. <laughs> Holy. We go from 57 top end damage to 82. 82, dude. And my Saber Slash scales 100% with my weapon damage, right? So it's just insane. Holy. Yeah, so I don't want to Thistle T quite yet, right? I want to save it. I'm getting... Wait, what are we... We're running around, mates. Or oh, can I get one in Venom, baby? Juice me? Oh, yeah. Not bad. And then next time, we should have be able to build up our in Venom, or like our Deadly Poison fully. Let's keep it up, right? I don't really have a timer for when he stops his Murloc onslaught. In a perfect scenario, I would want to do a little slice and dice. I guess. And then just start juicing it now, right? My deadly poison fell off, though, man. That's such a F. You're a little bit at the mercy of your deadly poisons, honestly. I can get one big and venom proc every single kill he has, it seems. It seems like really RNG on a rogue. Because, like, I'm kind of... It kind of feels like... It's the same thing on my warrior when I played the uh, the, 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 um, the dual wield spec. If your deep wounds falls off and you just get unlucky and no procs, then you just don't do damage, right? It feels a little bit similar to that with the, uh, the deadly poison. Okay, let's go. Big damage. I missed here. Not bad. Okay. Ah, oh, I got feared. Mamma mia, that's a fear and a half, isn't it? And if you want to really min-max it, then you want to weave in some other stuff. The Phantom Scatter here, Kuda. Okay, I mean, if I get that one as well, dude. I mean, let, let's see, dude. I mean, listen, guys, if anyone needs it, good luck. Good luck, guys. Yaku needs it. Good luck. Good luck, Yaku. Dude, I never get anything, man. Like, I don't know, man. It's just it's just so unfair, this game. Like, I'm trying so hard to get gear, and I just don't get anything. Ever. Oh, my God. It's so messed up, guys. Let me tell you guys. It's so unbelievable, guys. Oh, I should do a slice and dice instantly, right? Let's go. I don't even know if it's worth uh, venoming if we do it like that. I should probably just stick to the big guy. Yeah, just stick to this guy. Combo point... Oh, common point is a real bitch on this, this boss, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real bitch. Okay, killing this one here. Getting a lot of stacks of this now, but... Uh, look at that paladin damage. Wasn't people p complaining about paladins not doing damage? Oh, he's gonna do that stupid totem. Oh, no, don't do the stupid totem. I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, in my in game, like, in my character's gonna die. Yo, <laughs> Holy shit. He just fell over, man. Mamma mia. Okay, he's gonna do the totem. Oi! Dust to dust. All right, good luck, guys. There it is. I mean, Guzvaldo is doing pretty decent. Good luck, guys. And we got it anyway. And we got it anyway. <laughs> Look at that, boys. Uh, look at that, boys. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. Listen, guys. Everybody gets to roll. If it's your main spec, you roll for it. And if you win it, then you win it. Oh, that means we're gonna get the two set. This might be the blessed uh, run. The WoW section is looking grim lately, man. I wake up in the morning and there's literally none of the people that normally stream WoW that I watch in the morning are none of them are playing WoW. I think everybody is sort of just waiting for phase two. I mean, I, I kind of am as well. I'm playing my three characters, but my warrior is fully pissed out. All PvP is done. My shaman is kind of pissed out. PvP is done. On Guzvaldo, I still want to get rank three though before phase two comes out. So that's something I definitely want to work out. And, uh, you know, just do some PvP and stuff on Guzvaldo. But apart from that, we're kind of... We're chilling, dude. This is good. Am I exalted on my warrior with the war song? I'm not exalted. I'm revered on my warrior. I mean, that's just how WoW is, though, right? WoW comes in 
hype periods. You know, a lot of people play it, they like, you know, go hard, there's like new content, new raids, new leveling. And then after a little while, it's just, you know, there's a little bit of a lull where they kind of just wait for new content. In a way, I don't mind it too much because it means that we can get to do some other stuff and, you know, some variety games, which is cool too. You know, lately we've been playing some uh, Owlworld. We, we did a playthrough of Shadow of the Colossus, which was awesome. We played a bunch of different horror games as well. And uh, we are currently also doing some Pal World, which has been really fun as well. So, yeah, good, cool. Which we're also doing a series on, on YouTube as well. We're going to do a Pal World little uh, playthrough series from the stream. <laughs> I missed my goddamn... Okay. I missed my Garoti, dude. What the hell? This means I'm gonna be in kicking duty, right? Unless Flowerina is a god kicker. Is Flowerina a god kicker? He's not doing it, actually. Interrupt. Oh, Flowerina is a god. Okay, actual god. Insane. Yo, can I get some of those uh, deadly poison stacks? Interrupt. There you go. Thank you. Okay, I'm inside the, uh, the death place. Oh my god, Rogue is rough with this. When you actually have to do mechanics, that's where Rogue is rough, because you lose all your combo points. Where the hell is he? He's over here. Okay. Give me some stacks, baby. Juice me up. Kicking that. Obviously doing mechanics, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna rupture here, man. I don't have enough deadly poison stacks. Okay, now we juice it. Now we juice it. Let's go. Little heavy dynamite, of course. Maybe get the top spot, baby. Ah, we're close though. Just wait till I have world buffs, man. Uh, oh, we got it! Dude, why are we so unlucky with the loot today? There's nothing we need here. <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't even do it. I'm sorry. I can't even do it, chat. I'm <laughs> so there is something called, like, Sinister Strike weaving that we can do. If we want to really be sweaty about it. I think I still just want to figure out how the whole rogue thing works before I... I mean, it's not that hard, I guess. All we really gotta do is weave in a Sinister Strike once in a while, right? So we don't let the Saber Slash fall off. So now we would Sinister Strike instead of Saber Slashing, right? Because it does a little bit more damage. Yeah, so you can actually do quite a few Sinister Strikes. I can do one now, and I can do one Saber Slash now, right? So the most important thing is we don't let Saber Slash ever fall off. Why am I getting juiced up here? Yeah, it's, it's such a small little increase in DPS. That, I don't know if it's worth it. Are we not doing any ads? We're just sending it? Oh, I guess Alliance are just prio because you have Paladins, right? Yeah, you can just bobble it off. I guess Alliance Warriors are molding them because they can't do the little cheesy thing, right? Don't fall off, stupid and Venom. Oh, I was almost about to do a very angry hate threat on uh, WoW forums. Big and Venom. Laurina, don't die, don't die. Shit, I'm gonna pop Evasion just in case. I'm a little bit scared here. Hey, dude, I mean, honestly, man, even we don't... It's <laughs> we're kind of blasting, man. No world buffs, man. Like, not the best gear. We have decent gear, and we're kind of juicing it on Guzvaldu. Hey, yo, what do we get? Oh, I thought that was the boot knife. I thought it was the boot knife for a second there, dude. Ah, shit, that would have been pretty sick, man. Thank you for the run, guys. Very, very clean run, uh, obviously. Very happy about this, dude. We got three juicer upgrades in this run. This was amazing. Thanks for the run, guys. Really appreciate that. I'm gonna make another run on Guzvaldu in the next reset. I wanna do some... Uh, I wanna get some Warsong rep and get some ranks for PvP on Guzvaldu. Um, especially because we have a little bit more gear now. So I definitely wanna do that. But... Oh, yeah, we can talk to this bozo. Thanks for coming, by the way, guys. I'm gonna talk to this guy here. And I'm gonna go to Darn Asses. I wanna have my... Hearthstone, though, I think in the land of Astronaut, right? And I also want to go get the teleportation device done. So I think we'll do that real fast. So this gives us a teleport, right? I think to Sorum Strand. You may now utilize my portal to the Sorum Strand. That's so easy. Clappers, look at that. Ole mole. Okay, uh, la 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 la. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna get my gun real fast, and I'm gonna venture over to Astronaut, guys. I wanna go to Astronaut so I can get myself a uh, first of all the flight path to there, and I think I wanna put my Hearthstone to Astronaut so I can go there pretty fast, right? I think that's gonna be the move. Wait, can I kill this warlock slowly but surely moving up? Yeah, you like that? Okay, one of these. Yeah, little little T. Oh, gun action. Oh, a little bit of gun action for the boys. Hey! You coming back? Okay, you want more? I'll do you twice in a row. There you go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I got the dots. I got the dots. Run. Run, Guzvaldu. There we go. Okay, we're good to go. I, I need to work my way to Astronaut, guys. It, it, there's, just, there's just some evil villains around the world that we have to take care of.
Oh, there it is. I mean, not bad rep, though, to be fair. There it is. And now we get the thousand rep. Easy. And we get the silver ring battle him. Okay, not bad. I do want to... Something I want to do Want to do get done on the rogue, though. We, we have, like, the engineering and we got leather working, which is awesome. I want to get I want to get those maxed out. And I want to get, obviously, some PvP done so we can get rank 3. And then also the mount and some rep and stuff like that. But... Dude, Griswaldo is looking good. For the amount of time he's been level, level 25, we're looking real good on Griswaldo, guys. This is awesome.